The Mike Broomhead Show on KTAR News 92.3 FM and the KTAR News app. Hey, thanks so much for being here. It is the Mike Broomhead Show. Checking in with us aboard the Trump bus tour is Senator McSally. Senator, welcome back to the show. Hey, Mike. Thanks for having me back. So where are you guys? Where's the bus? We're in between uh, Flagstaff and we're heading to Prescott. So, oh, okay. Um, so there's, there's yeah. a, so we'll be have you for about 30 seconds at a time, then it's going to cut out like it does everybody uh, else's cell phone? Possibly, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so tell us about the tour. What's What's going on? So it's great. Mercedes Schlapp, who is the strategic communications director for the Trump campaign, is here. Uh, we've also got uh, Kelly Ward. And, you know, we've got a number of women that are engaging in all the communities that we stop in in the Women for Trump uh, bus tour. I'll tell you, you know this. I've been fighting stereotypes my whole life, so I never like to say, like, this is what all women care about and this is what all men care about. But I think it's important that Arizonans know the amazing economy we had for women. Most of the jobs that were added in 2019, I think it was close to 70 percent, were women. We had the lowest unemployment in, in history uh, for women. We've, uh, you know, seen more economic opportunity with, you know, small business owners who are women. And women care about national security and support to our military, stopping the flow of opioids into our communities, and also public safety. So it's important to talk about the record and engage around the state uh, and support of President Trump. And then also, of course, my race, because that but uh, decides the Senate majority and whether the radical left uh, rams their agenda through or whether we keep fighting for freedom and opportunity and safety, security uh, for all men and women and families and, and the next generation. It's odd because um, political parties are known for issues that they fight for or against. And for whatever reason, it appears that the left or the Democrats are the ones that are the champions on social issues. You have been fighting the social issues of sexual assault and other things with a very personal story. Do you have people from the other side of the aisle that come in at least um, thank you or give you credit for stepping out so boldly on that topic? Every once in a while, Mike, but it is really sad. Like, look, before I was a Republican uh, candidate for even Congress, the, the left loved my story, right? Breaking through barriers, uh, you know, being a pioneer, first woman to fly in combat, and taking on the Pentagon for making our service women wear burqas, and, and now, you know, talking about the issues that have happened to so many women and some men in our country as a survivor of sexual abuse and sexual assault. But because I'm a Republican, unfortunately, the left and the media, uh, you know, they just treat you differently. It is what it is, right? I'm not, I'm not complaining about it. Um, I'm trying to fight for women and girls. I'm trying to fight for men and boys. I'm trying to fight for Americans uh, so that there's opportunities for everybody. And I just hope people would look individually at us and also look at what our records are. And, you know, for those who care about ensuring that their daughters have role models and their daughters have opportunities, uh, that's the way that I've paved, and others paved it for me, and I'm honored to have taken that path. When you're out on the, the trail, you have to hear from people a lot frustrated that we're not opening things a little faster, or how we're doing things, because people are anxious to get this economy back on track. What's your feelings about that, about doing it but doing it safely? I think there's a way for us to continue to sensibly allow people to keep their small business afloat, uh, go to work to provide for their families, but the virus is still among us. So we see the numbers are going down. That's great. We still need to be vigilant to protect the elderly, the vulnerable, uh, you know, have personal responsibility while allowing people to safely and sensibly return to work. So I, I really believe we are postured. We're investing in more treatments. We've seen more promise with a number of treatments, fast-tracking vaccines. We're right on the cusp of defeating this virus. And then on the verge of the great American comeback, which is going to be even stronger because we're going to be bringing more jobs home from China as well. All right, I have to ask you about the debates. I, you you challenged Mark Kelly to a national debate, and you did throw down the gauntlet of saying, or you were quoted as saying, I think he's afraid <laughs> to debate a girl. I, I, well, I don't know. I've, we've run out of, like, what? why are you afraid to debate me? He's hiding in a bunker. Nobody knows what his positions are and things. I have a voting record. It's very clear. He wants to pretend he's not a Democrat, you know, just uh, Chuck Schumer money. And so I'm like, come on, dude. What are you, scared of a girl? Right? So, like, CNN, for crying out loud, offered a debate. We accepted it. It's a home field advantage for him, and he still won't do that one. That should say something to people. He doesn't want to talk about the radical left positions of his party. He doesn't want to have to answer difficult questions. And this is why it's more important than ever that he get out of his bunker and debate me. 
Joining us is Senator McSally from the Women for uh, Trump bus tour traveling Arizona today. Um, so, all right, so let's talk about uh, a position on some things in the campaign. Um, Mark Kelly's campaign running a lot of ads talking about pre-existing conditions and how you're on the side of Big Pharma, and you've got some ads talking about how you're fighting against those things. Clarify for us what your position is on this and what what you know your side of this story is. Well, it's a lie. I mean, I'm fully support protecting people with pre-existing conditions and prohibiting insurance companies from ever denying anyone uh, insurance because they have a pre-existing condition. We're never going back to that. So this is just a fear tactic from the left. They're running these types of ads all over the country. The reality is, Bill, there's people all over Arizona. Sorry, Mike, I have a friend named Bill Burmhead. I was just <laughs> The reality is, Mike, that there's people all over Arizona who have pre-existing conditions who right now can't afford health insurance because there's no choices for them. The deductibles are too high. Their co-pays are too high. So we need to have solutions that bring the cost down, provide more options. It's not federal government one size fits all. What the left wants to do is have the government take the whole thing over. And I'm also leading on legislation to take on Big Pharma to stop them from cheating and continuing to have monopolies to raise prices on American citizens who can't afford their medicines for diabetes, for cancer treatment, and for other diseases. It's got to stop. So I'm leading on that legislation to close loopholes and bring those prices down, cap the out-of-pocket costs for Medicare, uh, and allow more competition and lower costs. So that's just that's the truth. That's that's my record. The left just is trying to scare people like they do every two years. All right, Senator, I'm jealous that you're getting to go to Prescott. It's one of my favorite places in Arizona. Have a great day, and uh, and I uh, thanks again for coming on the show. Absolutely, Mike. You guys be safe out there. God bless you all. Take care. two days and save the country. Take Thank care. Thank you. That is Senator McSally spending a few minutes with women for Trump bus tour. Um, and just in all fairness, because I'm going to start getting tweets from people, when are you going to have Mark Kelly on the show? And I will say to you, I don't know. He has been has an open invitation to come on the show. We've invited the campaign on. We will continue to do so. I want all the voices to be heard. I will absolutely be fair to, to Mr. Kelly uh, if he wants to come on the show. We would love to have him, but we have invited, and we will continue to invite him on the show. All voices should be heard, and I will be gladly let him answer the question, the very same questions I asked Senator McSally.